So after I was done making my Patrick cardigan, I knew I had other parts to the outfit I needed to complete, but I couldn't think of a design. The cardigan was pretty flashy and I didn't want to overdo it, so I thought about it for days and days and days. And then I got it. I would make the top and bottoms solid colors and they'll be basic, but a little basic doesn't hurt anybody. I brought out the drawing board and made different versions of pants I thought I would like and I didn't really like them until I made black bell bottoms. But the only hard part was that I didn't know how to make pants at all. So I opened the one place to get a proper education and searched up a tutorial. I used Copy Kelly's pattern while making these pants and learned a lot about, you know, making pants. To make the pants, I used two balls of 100% black acrylic yarn, a five millimeter hook, measuring tape, stitch markers, a darning needle, and some scissors. The first thing I had to do before getting started was to measure where exactly the pants would fit. So I measured my hips, my waist, the length of my legs, and I honestly thought I measured everything accurately, but we'll get back to that later on in the video. I was pretty excited to get started, honestly. I knew that if I could complete making a pair of pants, I could make an array of different designs I had in mind, or designs that I will have in mind in the future when I actually plan something out. Are you smiling? Anyone else in there? I watched a whole bunch of movies that I haven't seen before while making the pants. I watched Luca, Onward, Inside Out, Zodiac, Tick Tick Boom, and so many others. And I was like, I wish I watched these movies when they came out. It's pretty cool. Besides Tick Tick Boom, Tick Tick Boom just came out. Anyway, I got the waist done and due to it being bigger than I thought it would be, I frogged it a bit until it fit perfectly around my waist. But I should have made it slightly smaller than my waist because apparently my weight fluctuates so much and my waist got kind of smaller while making these pants. That clip will be shown later on. Using the stitch marker, I marked the place of where to increase at my hips and began working on the legs. The work came out pretty well and I enjoyed how everything was coming out until I decided to increase for the bell bottom section. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, I don't know why I decided that I wanted to increase so that it would kind of go out and like like this photo right here I'm gonna put a picture here but I don't know if I should continue going while it's like poofy like this and then later on I'm gonna add like a ribbed cuff so it's gonna kind of go in like this this is like horrible footage, I apologize. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of be like this. But I just, I like how this looks. Like if this just continues down just straight and then I added the ribbed cuff, I think it would look a lot more better than this part right here. Uh, so I think I'm going to suck it up and frog it and cry about that I have to redo this whole section. Cause it took a pretty long time, but I have today, I'm gonna finish doing this today, th at least this leg today, and then hopefully in the next two days I get this leg done, and then we can move on to the shirt. After frogging them, I got back to work, and due to frogging them, for some reason the legs were 10 times faster to complete. Deciding to make them straight like pants was really the best decision. I loved them 10 times more and got so excited for them to be finished. Since they were going to be straight like pants, I decided it would be kind of cool to add ribbing to the bottom of the legs, like how sweatpants look. So after I finished one leg, I added ribbing. Finishing the first leg, the waist turned out to be way too big, like to the point of falling down around my hips, 
and I didn't enjoy how that looked, so I needed to figure out how to fix that. After I finally finished the second leg, I got to making the second leg ribbing. The ribbing was just back loop crocheting until the ribbing wrapped around my ankle comfortably. After I stitched the ribbing together, I crocheted five belt loops, which I measured out to be one inch, but later it looked a bit too thick, so I decided to take off a row to make it look more accurate looking to belt loops on jeans and stuff. I then placed them in the areas where I thought they would look the nicest and sewed them on with a darning needle. I used the same color yarn as one of the squares on the cardigan to make a drawstring for the pants, and then I was done. My pants are done. Um, so I like how the legs turned out and everything. The only thing that I think I'll change in the future is the drawstring. I'll probably go buy like an actual string to put here instead of have like a crochet one, or I'll figure out how to actually crochet a better looking one so it doesn't look like literally just a string like this. I like how the um, the belt loops came out and everything and it came out really good actually. I, I like, I'm very happy with how these came out. And I was thinking about putting like some sort of embroidery around or even adding like pockets, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the shirt so this video doesn't take like another month to complete. After finishing the pants, I got started on measuring for the tank top I was going to make. I knew that I was going to layer a turtleneck underneath the tank top due to it being cold outside, so I thought a tutorial wouldn't be needed. I decided to just crochet the length of the top that I thought would be best until it wrapped around my chest. It looked pretty cool so far, but when I slip stitched the two ends together, the seam was highly visible but I thought it was okay because I would have on a cardigan in the first place. I then used half double crochet to make the straps starting them already attached to the base of the tank top. After finishing the straps, I tried on the tank top to make sure that the straps weren't too tight around my shoulders, and after completing the entire tank top, I realized that they were too loose, but I left it alone thinking they'd be fine once I had the turtleneck on. Lastly, Due to not having any pockets on anything I was wearing for the outfit, I used VV Crochet's tutorial on how to make a phone pouch to have a place to put small items and make the outfit pop. It was super easy to make and super, super cute. Towards the end, I wanted to embroider leaves onto the bag as well as a tank top, but after trying multiple times with embroidery thread, I decided the best way was just to attempt to crochet some leaves and then attach them last. So that's what I did and I think it came out all right. After weeks and weeks of work, the outfit was finally complete. I was pretty proud of myself for pushing through even though I wanted to give up multiple times. This project has given me so much knowledge on crocheting and designing clothes and in the future, I want to make even better pieces. I also need to get better at measuring for sure. The one thing I wasn't successful on was the tank top. I should have definitely looked up a tutorial on how to do it and it wasn't as simple as the cardigan where I just had to make a bunch of squares and attach them together. But mistakes are meant for learning from. So even though the tank top didn't come out as good as I wanted it to, I'm still happy that I at least tried. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!